Well, the government have spoken. We all have to stay at home unless we're in essential roles. Or we have to go and do a bit of shopping. Or we've got to get to the pharmacy. But, you know, we've just got to go out less often than we were. And I wanted to find something today that will help us to, well, not lose faith or hope as we're going to have to endure through everything that's coming. So how can we try to avoid anger or criticism and find a more positive emotion to just help think about ourselves and others too, to take the right decisions? Well, I found the charts offered on TV last night were very helpful to just put things in perspective. So I'm going to leave that right here now. But it does show the difference that if we behave normally, one person as an average across the whole nation within 30 days can mean 406 people are infected. If we can just cut back by 50% the people we meet, one person after 30 days will probably infect about 15 people. And look at this bottom one. If we can cut back by 75% our contact with other people, then by 30 days on average there's only two and a half people infected. I found having some facts is helpful. But also, as a person of faith, I'm also helped by uh, the things that I know and I learn through the tradition and scripture of the church. And of course, the church goes back to Jesus Christ. Now, irrespective of whether you believe uh, Jesus was the Son of God, uh, many historians, in fact, most historians would totally accept there was a human being called Jesus who walked on the earth in Palestine and was the cause of the start of this global church of some two billion people nowadays. He painfully had some wisdom. Whether that's God-given wisdom or not, that's a faith decision. But what of his wisdom? How might his wisdom help us today? Well, one of the first things he affirmed as he was asked questions about the whole of the background of law and tradition of the Jewish faith was summing up uh, our, our requirements. The best things we can do is to both love God and love our neighbour as ourselves. And this chart for me is about loving our neighbour as ourselves. It's about thinking, well, I want to stay safe, but actually I want them to stay safe too. And maybe love is the answer to those negative emotions, of finding a way to consider others. St Paul, who was uh, patently influenced heavily by Jesus, uh, and uses wisdom that he's generated over time, said this about love. He said, love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. He said that in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, if you want to look it up. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. So how do we not lose hope as we go into this time? How do we avoid anger or criticism? Well, we think about other people and we do it from a loving heart if we can. We forgive things they may have said and we move on with what we know is right. Love never gives up never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance, especially if we can find that place where we can love our neighbour as ourselves. You take care. God bless. Stay safe.